Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my February bullet journal setup as well as my flip through from January. If you'd like to see my January setup then I will link that in the top right hand corner of this video as well as in the description. But anyways let's get started. I had my cover page, my calendar, and then over here I had my habit tracker and mood tracker on the left hand page and then my goals and my accomplishments box on the right hand page. So for the first two weeks I did one week per page and I found that to be quite tight and I did not have very much room to write. So as you can see later on I spread that out to having one week on two pages like this one. And you may also be wondering why I have two Sundays on here. That's because I screwed up the days of the week um, prior week before. And I also have my highlight section on the bottom and a to-do section. So here is my next weekly spread. And this one on the bottom I have highlights. And remember, and I also made these really cool study trackers so I can keep track of how much I am studying. And on my last January weekly spread, it looks a little plain. That's because I haven't completely filled it in. And on the right page, I'm probably going to add some type of artwork. But now on to the planning for February. So for my cover page, I drew this flower wreath type doodle thing. Um, I went over it with pencil first, and then I went over it with a black fine liner. And then for the middle, I just wrote February in some calligraphy. And to add a watercolor type of effect, I used some washable Crayola Super Tip markers and I just colored in parts of the leaves and flowers and then used some water to just um, blend it. And I found that my journal did not take water very well, but I mean, whatever. I had to double up most of the pages. So just keep that in mind if you are using the same notebook as me. So for my first page in February, I like to do a monthly calendar. I think this gives a nice visual overview of the entire month and I like it better than just like a list of all the days. So I drew my grid and then I wrote February on top and some calligraphy and I wrote all the days of the week. So on this page, I had a plan and a color scheme that I was going to do, but I ended up completely going away from that because I just absolutely hated how it looked. I was originally going to use this washi tape and I think it looks horrible and I'm glad that I didn't. But I used some craft paper and magazine paper to rip up and kind of add accents. And then I drew the same flowers that I drew on the first page with a fine liner and um, I colored it in with some washable markers and blended that out with my water. And this is how it turned out. I like how it turned out, but I'm not a fan of the line at the top. But I did try to blend that out with some water again, but it kind of wrinkled up the pages. But I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. This next spread is going to be pretty similar to last month, so I'm going to be doing a habit tracker and mood tracker on this first page. So I wrote out habit tracker in some calligraphy and I added some newspaper and craft paper. Um, as accents again and this time I decided to do a horizontal habit tracker so I wrote all of my habits I want to keep track of on the left side and it will actually cross over onto the other page and then for my mood tracker it's going to be pretty similar I'm just doodling some of the same flowers that I have been throughout um, this whole month spread around here and then I just did a vertical mood tracker so I wrote all of the days of the month on one side and then I made color in the box and I just drew this scale with different pink markers to represent um, my mood for the day. And then on the other side I'm doing my goals and accomplishments so I wrote goals and I kind of regretted putting in the middle and then I wrote accomplishments, didn't have enough space so I covered that up and covered it up with some more craft paper and newspaper and I rewrote everything added some more flowers and then I just wrote accomplishments a lot smaller so I have space to write all my goals and check in throughout the month to see if I have accomplished any of them. And for my first monthly spread, I'm going to be starting by writing February at the top in some calligraphy and I also darkened some of the lines. Then I ended up smearing it unfortunately. I added some more craft paper and newspaper to one side and I wrote the days. As you can see, it's more than a week because I'm including the, um, the little bit of February for this week as well as the entire week after, if that makes sense. And I wrote all of the days 
um, across the page so I have a space for every day of them as well as a highlight section at the bottom and then used my Tombow brush tip marker to draw lines across and then I blended that out with some water and I also added some more of those flowers that you've seen a million times in this month's spread. And here is the final flip through of February. Overall, I'm super happy with it and I love how the doodly flowers keep on reoccurring throughout it as well as the craft paper and newspaper. And obviously that is not all of February, but I'm going to be continuing to make my weekly spreads um, as I go throughout the month. And that concludes my February bullet journal plan with me, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.